Hi everyone, it's Lois Avalan with Easy as Pie Stamping. Today I'm super excited to share with you another September 2018 Paper Pumpkin Alternative Project. I post weekly videos on rubber stamping projects, techniques, and tips. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. This paper pumpkin kit is so stinking cute. I just love the September paper pumpkin kit and you will too. Watch the entire video so you get the instructions on how to make this treat box and the cool bow on top. These are the supplies you'll need to make this project. One of the baker's boxes, the Frights and Delights stamp set, the sticker sheets, three tag toppers, one of each style, three cellophane bags, one of each style, one die cut bat, the basic gray stampin' spot, the black baker's twine, a one and a three quarter inch circle punched from a scrap of Whisper White cardstock, and a one and a quarter inch circle punched from one of the tag toppers. First, let me show you how to put together the baker's box. First thing, open it up and fold it along all the score lines. And then we're going to fold these two sides in and bring this up and over and tuck it into the little slots in the bottom. There's our baker's box. Next I'm going to show you how to wrap the tag toppers in the cellophane bags. What you want to do first is cut the bottom off of the bag. And then what you want to do is cut along the fold line. Turn it over and place glue dots along the sides. You just place your tank topper in the center and line up the bottom edge with the edge of the bag and then just fold over and then just fold over the edges and stick them to the glue dots. And then you want to trim around the edge Okay, and then you do the same thing with the other two tag toppers using the front panels of two more cellophane bags. So then I needed to cut strips to make my bow, and I cut along the fold lines on the side panels, and that gave me four strips, and then from the front panel I cut two more strips, and it there was a little bit left over, so each strip's about three quarters of an inch wide. Okay, and this gave me six strips with one a little extra piece left over. So I'm going to show you how to build the bow. 
and we're going to use these strips of designer series paper instead of the cellophane bag strips because it will be easier for you to see what I'm doing on camera. So these strips are four and a half inches long, these strips are three and a half inches long, and these strips are three inches long. And they're all three quarters of an inch wide, the same width as the cellophane bag strips that we cut. So the next thing we want to do is make our loops for our bow. And I'm just going to put a glue dot here on the end, fold it in half, press it together, and I'm going to do that with all of my strips of paper. So here are all my completed loops. Next, I want to put a glue dot on the end of each of these. So I put glue dots on all of my loops, and now we want to build our bow onto this circle. I'm going to put the first two on like this, directly across from each other. Then I'm going to take these and put them in the open spaces in between. Push that down really good, get them to stick down really well. And then I'm going to put on the last layer of loops. Then I'm going to put a dimensional in the center of the Mango Melody circle and just place it in the center and then put a dimensional on the back of the bat. And there's our completed bow, and this is what it looks like it made out of the cellophane. So it's a, it's a flatter bow um, because the paper, you know, is thicker, and the cellophane just folds down um, flatter. Um, but either one of these would look really great on the baker's box. And what I did was I took the tag toppers and use dimensionals to adhere them to the back of the box. And then the bow is going to go on here with some dimensionals. And let me just show you what this one looks like too. So, but this is the alternative one I made with the paper pumpkin kit. Visit my blog to download two Halloween project PDFs that I created at my Hostess Club this month. The link is below. So the final step is to use the stickers and the stamp set and the Stampin' Spot to decorate the sides of the box. So to decorate the outside of the box, you're going to stamp here, here, and here. So I'm going to take the two spiders 
and put them on my clear block so I can stamp them together. Um, and then I just randomly stamped the image, turning the block to give it a more random look. And then let's put the box back together. And then I took the Boo sticker and the Eek sticker and placed them here on my tombstones. And so that's the completed project. I hope you enjoyed this Paper Pumpkin Alternative Project. I just realized I forgot to add the black baker's twine. What I did was I added it to my tombstones to imitate um, a spider web. And then I just adhered it to the back to keep it in place with glue dots. So there's a lot of glue dots on the back here. I would love for you to join me each month as we create beautiful projects with our paper pumpkin kits. If you want to join my paper pumpkin club, click on the link in the description below to be taken to my paper pumpkin store. Now you know exactly what to do to make this treat box. The free PDF download is below. Check in regularly to view my videos and blog posts with more projects. If you want to join a community of crafters just like you, I have a secret society where I share up-to-date techniques, tips, and products to keep your projects fresh. The link is below. If you like this video, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up and subscribing. Leave a comment below telling me who you will surprise with a Halloween treat. Thank you for visiting Easy as Pie Stamping. I look forward to helping you create pretty projects. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day, and remember, do something creative every day.